brother out of their way and see that I'm an innocent man. You are innocent? Sure. Don't you? Yes. How long have you played the justice? Fourteen years. What might be your name, my dear? Mary. So welcome, Princess Jane. We will butterfly you into a nasty place like this. It all happened so quickly. It has been a terrible day. You're not going to be terrible. You was, at least your day started with flowers. Flowers? Been to your dress. Oh, my father gave these to me. They are beautiful. He is a gardener, a wonderful gardener. This is the symbol of innocence. Its leaves are of a witness. And equals that of the driven snow. Happy is the daughter's heart, who is also pure. Remember, it is the pure in heart who shall see God. That was beautiful, Father. It reminds me of the seven of the mountain. Very good, you have to study. But the more pure the color of the child, the more difficult to preserve. In all its purity, it must be touched, even with the greatest precaution. Thus, also one word, one thought, can rob a mind of its purity. What about them? The wrong sword. Yes, I seem to have more holes than my pants again. With all of the guardian prank, you spent half your life on your knees. I suppose I do. I shall mend them tonight again. I do not see why we can't buy new pants, Father. There are some things in life more important than a new pair of pants. But why is it that we can't have the things that we need? I do not understand this about God. What do you mean? The people in the castle are no more faithful than you have in your entire life. Why do they prosper while you must suffer with the same kind of hands for eternity? God's blessings kept in more packages than simply material wealth. He has blessed us with health, a warm place to live, beautiful gardens and tent, he has blessed us with each other. I don't mind if God just blesses us just once with material wealth. You work so hard for some in return. It seems you're forever worried whether or not we'll be able to afford food and clothes for a year. Do you worry? Yes, do you not? Not at all, my child. Consider these lilies. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet, I say to you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed. Like one of these, how much more will he take care of our needs? Yes, Father, I do know that, but at times it does not feel like he does. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Will you re remember that, Mary? Yes, Father, I will.
she's got her money. How do you mean? It is quite an elegant dress, and she's in petty. It would have stayed in three minutes. You will not insult my friend. Bring me the dress now. Yes, your ladyship. Thank you. Mary. Yes? I haven't seen a dress today in four more past the day of last but none have given me greater pleasure. You see, this dress is a token of my affection. It is so pretty. Do you like it? I love it. For John, I feel as if I'm dreaming. I cannot wait to show my father. We wear that dress. Oh, you're sorry. My name is Jean, yes? Yes, I am Amelia's personal name. Where will you wear that dress? Well, do you have the luxury of this ball to attend? Will you be meeting the king? Performing for royalty, perhaps? Then on what occasion would you wear such a lovely garment? Or wear one of the I do. I do not really know. Will you wear them in your garden in it? Of course not. Will you sleep in it? Certainly not. It does seem to me that Amelia has placed an egg preciously on someone who cannot even find occasion to wear it. Or will wear one of the again? Yes, when you meet in the fields. I do not believe she will be inviting you into her room again, however. What? Why do you say that? Some people in the castle have complained. Filthy people are not welcomed. It upsets the royal family. Filthy people? Yes, it is apparent that Amelia is too courteous to say this herself. So if you would not mind, the next time Amelia invites you inside the castle, do a decline. Of course. Besides, Amelia already has a friend inside the castle. It is me. Of course. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do 
not be far from the truth, Mary. The worst pillow to sleep on is the pillow of guilty conscience. For it is far better to die for the truth than to live for a lie. I should join the search. The castle has plenty of people looking already. But I must do something. To sit here and wait for my fate is more than I can bear. It is needless to worry. We are to cast our cares upon him, for he cares for us. I heard that the gallows are like a negative. No 
would you hear that? From yeah, you don't know that one.
must find the right thing. It shall only take the side of the cannot go without. Yes, Father. I know things have been great for you, God, for sparing my life. But I must admit that I will miss this cottage and your garden and the media. To every thing there is a season, a time to laugh, a time to cry, a time to plant, a time to uproot. I see no other reason that what has happened except that God has determined that our time in this country deserves it. A new journey now begins. We have new gardens to shine, new friends to meet. It is our duty as Christians to make whatever place it leads us to more beautiful. For the next few years, may we take one more look at the garden? So, of course. It is 
not comfortable to leave. Mary, when we do what we have to, as I've been humbly, humbling ourselves by not being on strangers' stories from you, we must believe that the humbling is God's plan for us today. But be, for, be sure, we will operate and work for our food. Pardon me, ma'am, we let our weary travelers for very little to sustain us on our journey. You were wondering if we had some food for which we could work for. My daughter I know what for you. What a boring woman. You see, God, my dear, God works for closed doors as well as other ones. We must see a closed door from the hand of God as only as temporary closed doors. God needed to be prepared to let your word of blessing.
We need medicine. I don't think it's right into town. Do it, Hey, Ross. Yes, Father? First, first, I'd like you to meet James. Hello, sir. James, this is my son, Amos. Ah. He was not quite good here with us. They tend to the farm themselves one day. It is very sweet there, Amos. Amos, I need you to ride into town with me to retrieve medicine for James. Yes, Father. Use the money in the kitchen. Where do we put his father's pack? On the bench. He is not eating. There is a bit of bread in his pack. I don't think that that we have nothing to do. Father? Yes, Mommy. Why is there so much bread left in your pack? We left town two days ago with four small loaves of bread. I ate two of them, and there are still all those two there. Father, did you not eat? I was only trying to be being frugal. I did not know what I had. You were saving them for me. You starved yourself so that I could feast on bread for the journey. It was very good. And you are the one who continued to teach me to reside in God the provider. <laughs> it appears you have no all too well. This is why you're so weak, my good man. You have not eaten. No, I have yet to say. Am I to understand that you're sending Amos to town this morning for medicine? James, allow me to introduce you to Helen. James, what? It was nice to meet you. I thought we were going to the fair today. We are changing your plans. We need medicine for our new friend. New friend? Oh, uh, the one you fetched from under a bridge just last night. Yes, yes, of course. Your friendship must be quite strong by now. This man should straight away be more important than your family. That can be fine on account of me. Yes, listen to your new friend. Do not change our plans on account of me. The fair is simply an excuse to spend money carelessly on luxuries that we do not truly really need. Are you living on the same farm as me? We need luxuries. We need rest. We need respite from the rigors of this place more than we need food. We are to use the money for medicine today, Ellen. No, I am this farm. We will not be spending our money on strangers who sleep under bridges.
Perhaps this is the place where God has led us. Far be it from my pride to keep me from fulfilling God's call. Oh, this is most exciting. Amos, tell me why you think this would not be such a good idea. Your daughter-in-law appears to take offense to us. Do not pay mind to her. She is part of our family now and we love her. But it does take a lot of effort to make her happy. I simply do not want to be the cause of trouble. If there is trouble, you will not be the cause. Welcome to your home, James and Mary. Thank you. Remember the power of the seller. It is deep in God's word that we will grow. We must not carelessly plant our seeds among the thorn hedges, where they will be checked out by the cares of this world. And we cannot carelessly spread them amongst the paths. Do you see those birds, Mary? Yes, my eyes. As lovely as they are, they are the vilest of thieves. They steal. Oh yes, they will fly down to the path and snatch up any stray seeds that fit in their beaks. And you will be in God's garden, blooming and growing under His care.
kind of lady around with my daughter. Of course. Oh, Father. You know, my child, I have not been without trials. Yet I cannot thank God for them. I believe that they were sent in great mercy from God. You, when your mother died, I suffered very deeply. Yes, yes. My soul seemed dried up, but after a while, God sent me a bang of refreshing to a face consolation and revealed my wish to soul. I'm not bothering yourself with the living room anymore. We have more important tasks ahead of us. 
We have not seen you at all today. I was at work in the fields. You are doing a wonderful job to work as hard as you do without complaining is a marvelous treat for any child. I'm afraid that in hand does not show your enthusiasm for my work. I'm sorry about her. You do not deserve to be treated like this. Where is my brooch? Where have you put it? My brooch was on the dress of this afternoon and now it is gone! I have not seen it. You! You were feeding my brooch today. You must know the whereabouts of the brooch. Thief! Helen, you do not know that. Amos, you do not know Mary as I do. She is a convicted criminal. What? She's here because she's
How could you do such a thing? What is that I hear? Sounds like a carrot. It is! Come on! It is Lucy, and they're coming to our home! Why would they be coming to us? Perhaps they want to invite me to your garden feast. Why? And why only you? What about me? You can't go to your royal feast, Amy. Who is that accompanying you? I know, Madam Helen. Mary! Oh. Are you Madam Helen? Yes, my lady! May I ask a friend to you? We are actually here to see Elijah and Sarah. Are they here? No, they are not. Where have they gone? They went to live in other town. In which town? They did not say. I see. I suppose we should have a them then. Thank you ever so much. They were turned out. She turned, she turned my parents out just this morning, and I allowed it. You allowed your own parents to be forced out of the house? I actually wasn't aware she did, but I also didn't prevent it. I take responsibility. They, they, they were unable to pay rent. Did you give them a time of grace? No, my lady, we didn't know such thing. I would not be as gracious as you were to your own parents. You may remain in your room. However, you will be subject to attack and will be sent to Elijah's cell for the rest of their lives. It's outrageous! And after Elijah and Sarah have passed, the tax will continue to be paid to Mary. I wish to carry the conversation any further. No, my lady. You must say something. Yes, I will. Countess? Yes? You should look for my parents at the church. It is likely they stop there to break. Thank you, Amos.
I know life is like that sometimes. You know, sometimes it's just full of awe. Sometimes it's just awful. Jesus never promised us life would be easy. But he did promise us. He would be with us, always. So you might say, Jesus is your BFF. That's my brother. You got it. Now you have time to talk to your parents. Yeah. Uh, first, I got to give you something for you. Baskets of flowers. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Benjamin. Oh, you can thank Mr. Bunchman for that. You know, he may be dead, but his stories are very much alive. In fact, did you know he wrote a, oh, that's quite another book for quite another time. Goodbye, Mr. Finian. Cheers. Goodbye, Jessica. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome Jamie, who played Amos. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome Andrew, who played James. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome Randy, who plays the Woodsman. <laughs> let's make welcome Bethany Zimmerman, who is our pianist. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please welcome Katie, who played Mary. Let's make welcome to Charlene, who played Amelia. Let's welcome Annie, who was our hairstylist. Please welcome Allison, who played Julia. Please welcome Cassandra, who played Mary. Please welcome Dayton, who played Joshua. Please welcome, welcome Brian, who was a guard. Please welcome the guard, who was guard. Please welcome Stephanie, <laughs> who was the sound. Now let's go into the stage of Wenda, who played Jessica. Now let's go to Marley, who played Sarah. Now let's Please welcome Michael, who played Mr. Finian, the judge, and Elijah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Charlene, who played Helen. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Jessica, who was our makeup artist. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Irvin Ray, who played the creepy man. 